open eyes that we may see to follow the It is that time for daily devotional. And today we are reading Exodus 13, 1 through 22. We are reading Exodus 1 through 22. And today's message is, Who are you going to follow? Who are you going to follow in your time of need? Who are you going to follow in your desperate time, in your needed time, in your special, special time with your own self? I ask this question because in this passage today, we see that um, Moses is leading the people. And when he is leading, he is being led by God. And... We want to lead some, we want to, we want to be led by people that have integrity. So let's get into this message of who are you going to follow? Who are you going to follow for today's daily devotion? And come on now, get your Bibles, get your pens, get your notebook paper your tablet cell phones and and your bible or whatever you may use when you are reading the word okay so let's get into this today for our daily devotion of exodus 13 1 through 22 all right babies let's do this
Exodus 13, 1 through 22. 1 through 22. And it reads, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand, the Lord brought you out from this place. There shall no leavened bread be eaten. This day came ye out in the month Abib, and it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee, a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee. Neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. And thou shalt show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thine hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes, that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth, for with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in his season for year to year. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, as he swear unto thee and to thy fathers, and shall give it thee, that thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix, and every firstling that cometh of a beast which thou hast, the males shall be the Lord's. And every firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb, and if thou and if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break his neck, and all the firstborn of man among thy children shalt thou redeem. And it shall be when thy son asketh thee in time to come, saying, What is this? That thou shalt say unto him, By strength of hand the Lord brought us out, out from Egypt, from the house of bondage. And it came to pass, when Pharaoh would hardly let us go, that the Lord slew all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord all that openeth the matrix, being males, but all the firstborn of the children I redeem. And it shall be for a token upon thine hand, and for frontless Front list, frontlets between thy eyes. For by strength of hand the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt. And it came to pass, when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, Least preadventure the people repent when they see war and they return to Egypt. But God led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up, harnessed out of the land of Egypt, and Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had 
straightly sworn the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Sukkoth and encamped in Etho, in the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. I have just read Exodus 13, 1 through 22. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we say thank you for leading us. We thank you for leading us in all that we do. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us just this day, our daily bread that you have given us to have strength in our bodies, activity of our limbs, and we are in our right minds, Lord, just for today, Lord. We say, Lord, thank you for all that you have done for us, all that you're doing right now, and all that you're going to do. Lord, may you add a blessing to the reading of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, let's dive into this, right? So... We are talking about Exodus 13, 1 through 22. And we see that Moses, we we see that God is still giving Moses instructions. Okay. And he tells them, this is what you must do in order to follow me. This is what you must do in order for you to follow me. You have to sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever cometh the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. So, you are supposed to give God your first offerings. Uh, and they say that that's what you spoke that is what you're supposed to do today in today's time still give god your first don't give him your last don't give him what's left over you give him his first and the thing is he won't his first he don't want to be left out god wants to be first priority in your life when it comes to your blessings, when it comes to everything you do in your life, um, you know, dedicate your child, dedicate your your first child to him, dedicate your firstborn, dedicate your first uh, income. Say you get paid, okay? Well, God get his first. You don't get him his last, cause then he'll, you know, uh, because. It'll seem like God didn't do anything for you if you don't give him his first. You gotta, if you put God on hold, that says a lot. If you put God on the last person to get paid out your paycheck, and that says a lot. Um, He wants to become your everything. When you follow him, I ask this question, who are you going to trust in your time of need? Who are you going to follow? Who are you going to, who are you going to let lead you into a better place uh, when it comes to your life? Because man does not know where your life is going to be at. He don't know. God don't know. Well, man doesn't know. Mortal men don't know. God knows all the plans he has for you because he made them. So he gives them instructions and he says, I'm going to, and this day, this day came ye out in, out in the month of Abed, and it shall be when the Lord bring, shall bring 
thee into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee, a land formed with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day, or in the seventh day, shall be a feast to the Lord. So I'm telling you, you have to turn around, and this is something that is mandatory. This is mandatory. You got to do this. This is got. This is something I want you to do for me, and for bringing you out of this land, from delivering you from the evil plans of what people have for you. I need you to stick with me. I need you to follow my instructions, specific to the letter, and I need to get my first on everything. Firstborn, first, first seed, first ev- everything. Now, if you remember, you recall when we first start talking about Genesis and Adam and Eve, God required the same thing. I need, you know, when it came to Cain and Abel. I want to get my first. I want to, I want you to give me your first. I want you to give me your first fruits, your first uh uh what uh, what what you have first when you pick it up or it's in your hands, you give God his first. And I want you to keep this this ceremony, this memorial dedicated to me. I come first. I come first. God says I come first. Not second, not third, not fourth, and fifth. I come first. And he gives them the specific instructions to to carry on their lives so he can deliver them into the promised land that they have been they have been promised from God through their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because God told them the same thing. I'm gonna bring you, I'm gonna deliver you, you'll deliver your generations into land that that only I know that you can possess. I can give you that possession. Can't nobody else give you that possession. Only I can do that. And and they went, left Egypt, and God took them into the wilderness. God took them into the wilderness. And they took Joseph. Joseph died in Egypt. So that generation before them had died in Egypt. Joseph was the only person that go with them when they left Egypt. And they took his bones with him. And then you have this. Uh, uh, now God is now God is leading them in the wilderness, and He has given them a pillar of a cloud. In the daytime, this pillar has a, a certain distinction, and it is only low enough so they can see it as their guide. And then they have a pillar of fire by night to see at night to see what they're doing, so he can they can have light to see. And they, and God is God is still leading them out of their deliverance. When God sets to deliver you from something, he's not just going to deliver you and leave you out there. He's going to help you walk the way. He's going to help you see what you need to see by day and by night. He's going to let you see. He's going to open your eyes so you may see that this is good for me. This is not good for me. That's not good. No, I don't need to go that way. I don't need, no, I don't need to go that way. I need to go the other way. God is leading you and guiding you even though you have been delivered. Think about it. I realize something as I speak about this this deliverance. Because God delivered me. God delivered me from drugs, prostitution, alcoholism. Uh, He delivered me from uh, a a lot of things in my life that I was dealing with. And I didn't want to face the facts about, and I didn't want to live the life God had for me because I was running from my deliverance. I was running from my deliverance. I, I could have been saved a long time ago if I had just listened. 
If I wasn't running the opposite way, no, I ain't trying to do that. No, I'm gonna go ahead and still smoke this crack. I'm gonna still do these drugs. I'm gonna still be a hoe. I'm gonna still be this. I'm gonna still be that. Okay, I could have said, I could have been saying a long time ago if I just stopped and listened to God when He talked to me. He was giving me signs. He was giving me signs like he gave the Israelites, like he gave Pharaoh in, in this in this in this in this book. He was giving me signs like, okay, look, I'm I'm telling you, can, can I just you know, it's a thing of God give you signs when he wants you to straighten up, but you got to see you got the you see the sign, but now you want to act like your blinders on like you don't see them. And my deliverance came when my three most important people died. My grandmother, my father, and my mother, right behind each other. I don't know if that's a sign. I don't know. I ain't trying to be funny, but that was a sign for me. They get it right. Get it straight. Come on. You need to get it. Get yourself together, child. And come and walk with me. That's what he's called. That's what he placed in my heart right after my mother died. He said, get you got. Come on. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. And that pain was so great when they passed. And then God says, I'm here to deliver you, not hurt you, not harm you, not uh, place any blame on you. I'm here for to hold your hand and to lead you and guide you in the way that you should go. Because now you have lost your three souls, the three souls that sat on earth for you, um, before you, uh, to deliver you, to lead you and guide you in the way that I that I wanted you to go, but you didn't want to listen to the three guides I gave you. So now I'm now they gone. You ain't got nobody but me. That's the way I see it. Now I just have God, not mortal man, not not somebody. Okay, just because they heal, uh, I, you know, uh, you know, not 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 falling into that trap of falling backwards. Oh, my mama died. I need to go get high. Oh, my 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 dad died. I need to go out here and sleep every time they can Harry. Oh, my grandma died, and now I'm gonna just be out here all willy nilly on the beach. No. Those three signs woke me up. Those three signs woke me up. Those three signs woke me up. They made me understand I have a purpose in life, and I have been wasting my time. I've been wasting my time, been wasting my gifts, been wasting my talents. I've been wasting my time away on the 40 years God had given me with these three individuals. So the rest of my life, I devote this, I, I devote my time to God. I devote my time, I devote, it, I, I devote everything to God. I don't have time to play games no more when it comes to me and my living and the way I live and, and how I live. And God says, you don't have to settle. You don't have to settle for stuff that you know that's not right. You don't have to settle for that. See, a lot of things God changes in your deliverance when he bring you up out of something. He cha- he, try- he changes first your mindset when he delivers you from something. He changes your mindset. He changes your people, places, and the things you do. When he, when, when. You decide to take that walk with him. He says, all right, can you do it my way, please? Okay, and your thing is, your thing is you accept God's way. You accept what he asked you to do. And you put all the other stuff aside and you say, okay, God, here I am. Here I am. I'm here. I'm yours. At first, yeah, it kind of might be kind of hard. It might be, you know, but uh, hey, I tell you this. Is better than the life he was living. When God delivers you, like he delivered the people out of Egypt, he delivered the Israelites out of Egypt, it's the same way. He will never leave you nor forsake you, and he has better plans for you. So, I'd rather ha- I'd rather ha- I'd rather have a positive outlook on life than being around a bunch of negative people, being around a bunch of uh, uh, gossipers, being, look, I, I, don't, I don't do that, I don't get high, I don't drink, I don't, I, you know, ain't nothing wrong with a little wine every now and then, as long as I don't get drunk, drunk, stinky drunk, toe down to the floor drunk. 
and it, it makes you it makes you look upon yourself when you are delivered it makes you it, he makes you look upon yourself and say okay i'm better than this i'm better than what i used to be i'm better than what i used to do i'm better i'm better i'm a better person because of god I don't have to cheat. I don't have to steal. I don't have to rob. I don't have to kill nobody. I don't have to do none of that. And when the enemy comes upon me, I know somebody, I know God got my back. Not somebody, but God. God got my back. So who are you going to trust to lead you in your deliverance? I trust God. I don't trust mortal man. I don't trust that. Because every because I have seen where if I I have seen that you put your trust in people and they turn around and disappoint you they they will disappoint you ain't nobody perfect okay we're gonna get off that there ain't nobody perfect in this world no one's perfect but I'd rather follow God and listen to what God has to say than be out here on the on the on the beach all willy nilly um and got half a bathing suit on, hair looking a mess, uh, jack, look, look, looking all jacked up, looking like a hot mess. Instead of being nice, put together, have respect for myself, um, I got some cool, um, I have respect for others, I have respect for other people's pain. It's a long list of things that change when you get, when you come into that deliverance, when you, when you be, look, I, I don't, I, I just want to have, I just want to live right, uh, right and righteous life, and I want to do everything right in life. Things change when you decide to follow God. And that's exactly what he's saying in 13. He's saying, look, I need mine first. I need, I need my, I need, to, I need everything to come to me first. Come to me first for everything. I don't care if you just want to have a conversation. Talk to me first before you talk to anybody else. Come to me about your money. Come to me about your prayers. Come to me about your worries. Come to me. Come to me. See me first. Don't go talking to somebody else. Don't go see nobody else. Talk to me. I'm here. And that's what this is. It is, look, I'm here to lead you and guide you in the way that I want you to go. Now that you don't, you're so used to Pharaoh leading you and telling you what to do and you can't do this and you can't have that and you can't. And God is, God is turning around and saying, okay, now that I got you, I got you. Now that I got you in, in, in completely to me, I can make you a I can create what I wanted you to be. I can I can do the things in you. I can place these things in you since you're not serving Satan anymore or Pharaoh. That, you know, he's telling the Israelites, look, this is something I got for you, and I need and and I'm 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 the one. I'm the one. I'm the one that you need to consult about everything, and I can do these changes in you, and you will love them. You'll end up loving them because look at the old life you used to live. Look at the old life. Whether you was shooting up heroin, snorting cocaine, smoking crack, or smoking meth, or, or drinking, or promiscuous, being promiscuous, or, or you know, out here jumping from dude to dude to dude, or you jumping from woman to woman to woman. And if you just come to me, all that stuff will be resolved. All that stuff be cleared up. You don't have to stress yourself out. You come to me with your money. I I, I make sure you get a blessing because you got get you. Everything comes through me now. Everything I, you got to come through me, not Pharaoh. Pharaoh took everything from you. I'm here to give you more life. I'm here to give you more abundance. I'm here to uh, to give your to, to bless your seed and not destroy it. Pharaoh was trying to kill you. Yeah, he might have been in your corner, but he tried to kill you by working you like a like a like a runaway slave. He was working you and taking and not giving nothing to you. Do you want that life? Do you desire that life? And we talk about that later on down in the, in this in in this in this book. 
about how the Israelites just sometimes they let doubt creep in. They let uh, self they self sabotage themselves. It's a whole lot of it's a whole plethora of stuff that the Israelites laid on down the road did. We're gonna talk about that later. And I just you know I, I just want it, I just want you to see that God has something better for you, just like He has for the Israelites. He has something better for you in order for you to have a better life. You got to surrender and you got to say, look, okay, God, here I am. I'm yours. I don't want to do that no more. I don't want to. I just I'm tired of that life. I'm just I'm here. And and can you just tell me what to do? If you just give God his first, I want to be first in your life. That's what this chapter is about. I want to be first and I want to be regarded and I want to have everything that you, I, I want to be first, considered first in everything that you do and have and, 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 and everything, all your activities. I want to be first and I'll keep blessing you as long as you put me first. Okay, everybody. So, this has been the devotional, and we have been talking about Exodus 13 1 through 22. And I want to say thank you for listening. Thank you for being uh, uh, a listening ear, listening heart, and a listening mind. And I want to say I love you. I may not know who you are, but I love you. And God loves you. And I will talk to you later on Daily Devotional. Okay? And we're going to go through uh, Exodus 14, 1 through 31 on our next segment. Okay, babies? All right. And I love you. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, Sharice Johnson Moore here, owner and CEO of LBMTV. At LBMTV, our objective is to give you programming that will invigorate, motivate, and inspire you. Our programming will provide you with insight, in-depth knowledge, and solutions in your daily living. We can be seen on every smart TV, smartphone globally, We're located on the C1 Media Smart TV app, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Google TV. So get ready to enjoy positive, uplifting programming for your daily living here at LBM TV, where we care about you. Hello everyone, hello, 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 Sharice Johnson Moore here, and I have something special for you, okay, I'm starting a new streaming channel, and it is entitled LBM TV, okay, so I want to get you seen in front of 4.5 million people, okay, You know how many people that is that you could advertise your business to, that you could put yourself on front of the people to be seen. 4.5 million people. Oh my God, that's a lot of people, right? So, I'm opening the door for all of those that would like to advertise on my TV channel, LBM TV, an opportunity to really get in front of the people you can contact with contact me through lbmtvmedia at gmail.com for further details lbmtvmedia at gmail.com for further details okay so 
I want to get you seen in front of 4.5 million people, okay? So that's on a daily basis. And I wanted to let you know that I support all businesses, okay? So come on in. Come on in the room and get seen on TV, okay? All right, babies. I love you.